another way. Hey guys, my name is Keshante Chantel. Welcome in. If you've been here before, what's up, what's up? If you have not been here before, then welcome. Um, please join the family because we are always lit over here. Uh, this is what we're doing today. Like, guys, I can't even... I can't even front like I was super excited to do this look when I saw it last night I was just like that's it so this is pretty much what we're doing so this is pretty much the look that we are going for today like it is uh, uh, it is bomb.com so you will definitely want to stick around to the end um, without further ado we will just just jump straight to the video because I know that's what you're here for but before we do don't forget to like comment subscribe join the family and let's get to it let's get to it <laughs> okay so first I just want you guys to see how beautiful like this makeup is on Rihanna like uh, baby tell me that's not stunning like tell me it is just screaming fall vibes there was a lot of people at the Met Gala that I feel just didn't give what was supposed to be giving but Rihanna always comes through so like thankfully like she gave us something like in this look was just something that I had to recreate so we're gonna start off with the Urban Decay this is the optical illusion primer and I'm just going to put that all over my skin now Normani gave what it was supposed to be given Iman baby Iman stole the show she stole the show put it like this she was the end all be all of the night like it is the Met Gala and I hate to see people play it safe I just like why even go if you're just not gonna give it everything okay so I absolutely love the Fenty foundation and pretty much what better way to like do this look other than using Rihanna's products. I mean Fenty Beauty, so Fenty Beauty always gives the girls what they need to succeed. So I have three shades, of course I have to mix my shade. Um, I have 300, 340, and 250. So pretty much, you know, I mix a little bit of all of those together. So I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs. This is the Face 2 brush. And I'm just going to start putting that foundation just all over the skin. One thing that I love about the Fenty Beauty Foundation is, and this is the Pro Filter, not to be mistaken, because she has a couple different ones out. But I love the coverage that it gives I like the fact that this foundation is matte um yeah and it just it gives like look at that come on now like you see it <laughs> yeah this foundation is everything um now the only thing I have heard some people say you know because of the smell that it has broken their skin out but I think they've gotten a little bit better with the formulation so there are some other ones that don't have like that perfumey kind of scent to it because it kind of has a floral sweet scent which is not completely bad but if you are more acne prone then it might kind of mess with your skin a little bit but um I, I, I am so happy that Rihanna just came out and she just took over 
the beauty industry and that's why I tell anybody always chase your dreams because at the end of the day there's so many makeup brands out there but Rihanna just kicked the goddamn door in and took over so the concealer that I'm going to use is by NARS this is in the shade caramel and so I'm just going to put that all under the eye and then I'm gonna go in with NARS Macadamia and this is their Radiant Creamy Concealer so I'm just gonna go over top of that just to give a little bit more brightness under the eye. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. And I know guys, I've been gone for like a week or so and I do apologize I've just had a lot of things going on of course I started back working um, as you guys who follow me know that I went out on surgery so I was out of work for about a month and a half and I'm now getting back into the swing of things also my little sister got married on this past Sunday so you know I just was preparing for that because not only was I in the wedding but I did the makeup for the wedding as well so all right so I'm gonna take that same brush that I used before for foundation and I'm just going to start blending in that concealer now it does have a little bit of foundation still left on it but that's okay because pretty much what that does is it for me just gives a little bit more of a flawless blend so as you can see there's still some shading there from the highlight from the concealer but it blends very effortlessly into the skin without looking like uh, that halo or that ghostly kind of look underneath all right and if you know me then you already know what time it is you know what setting powder I'm about to use because she's that girl um, this is the Laura Mercier translucent honey hands down one of my favorite all-time favorite setting powders that I've ever used um, the only thing is the price if you're not willing to pay $39 for a setting powder I'd say a next affordable dupe would be either Juvia's place or Morphe but trust me like this is this is one that I say you need can we just get into these eyes oh my gosh sultry so what I'm looking at is she's got a lot of dimension to her eyes she's got pinks browns there's some gold underneath um she's got like a shimmery highlight more of like a satin or a sheen highlight under the brow but um yeah so that is pretty much what we are doing I'm gonna start off with the elf this is their putty primer now I just got this and I don't know how I feel about um, the consistency actually I picked up quite a few new products and I'm thinking about doing another haul I know I just recently did a haul and um, the only reason why I've been holding out um, honestly is because one I just did a haul like I said and two like um I was waiting I pre-ordered a pair of Converse and I've been waiting for them to come in over a month only for the company to turn around and tell me they did it and it wasn't the Converse company itself but it was you know um pretty much Urban Outfitters but they sent an email saying they didn't make enough of the shoe in my size so they was gonna have to send my money back and I just was like that's the purpose of the pre-order but that's uh, that's another story for another day cuz I'm about to work myself up and we're not here for that so moving right along you see it this is the new um, be perfect carnival the antidote palette uh, 
just a gorgeous, gorgeous, just a gorgeous, gorgeous fall palette. Um, just super beautiful. I've only touched one color, just the swatch. And so we are going to start off using this. So first of all, for the highlight, we're going to go in and like her highlight is more of like a champagne kind of color. So I'm going to start off with Glisten and I'm just going to pop that under the brow. And bring it down. All right, so what I'm looking at in this picture, Rihanna, instead of having like the overall kind of oval cut crease, her crease goes up like, I don't, I don't know what shape that is, but it kind of goes like, as you can see, it just goes up that way. So you guys can kind of get an understanding of what I'm saying like yeah so i'm gonna use chestnut which is like a dark brown and this is just to start that outline and then i want to go in with mystic which is like this really dark black but that's why I wanted to start out with the chestnut first because I didn't want this black to be super harsh all right so next in this open space like right here there's like this very pale khaki color that was used so I'm gonna take dusk and I'm gonna mix a little bit of it with the dove from this palette and just kind of go right here so in the Fenty Beauty this is the kilowatt I'm going to use the ginger binge Just to pop that on the lid. For mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline Colossal. And this is in the shade Glam Black. Okay, so in this picture, Rihanna does have like very soft lashes on. They're not super dramatic um, because you want to be able to see the, the makeup detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the NYC Epic Liner and then I'm going to use just a simple pair of lashes. So I'm going to use the Ardell number 31 lashes. All right, so I'm going to go back underneath the eye with a little bit of the Mystic mixed with the Chestnut. Now listen, I don't know if this is what she used under the eye, but baby, it looked like Trophy Wife. So here, like, I'm gonna show you again. Take a look. The inner corners, the inner corners has like this gold to it. So we are going to use the kilowatt highlighter in Trophy Wife. Okay, so for 
contouring and just bronzing up the skin I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie and I'm just gonna start just kind of giving my skin a little bit more depth dimension just warming up those tones this is by far one of my favorite things that I use to bronze with Then I'm going to use the Bare Pro Foundation in the shade Clove. So I'm not exactly sure what was used on the lips, but I pulled um, the closest thing that I felt like I could find, which was the Stila. This is their Anti. I don't even know if that's how it's pronounced. Um, but this is their stay all day liquid lipstick and then I also have the NYX this is their liner in the shade espresso this is like a blush um and this time I'm gonna use the Moscow Mule just to give my cheeks just a little bit of rosiness her cheeks are not overly blushed they're not super pink um but you can tell that she does have just a little bit on this is the Urban Decay all night setting spray And lastly, I'm going to go in with the Kilowatt. This is the Mean Money in Hustler Baby because Rihanna does have a little bit of highlighter on her nose. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the Mean Money and put it on the tip of the nose. So that is it that is all guys thank you so much for tuning in sticking it out thugging it out with me this look is just so sultry so beautiful so fall i just i love it like i'm ready just to like do a little bit more to my hair throw some clothes on and just be outside <laughs> that's how this looks that's how this look makes me feel so again, if you have not already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the family. Stay tuned for more looks, more hauls, more lifestyle videos from me. And that's just basically it. If you haven't already, um, you can check out some of the pictures from the Met Gala. All you have to do is just hashtag that on Instagram. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.